is going to be discussing discussing music and passion, right? Yes. Okay. Music, passion. Okay. Yeah. Do you have the mic on? Yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Everyone, stand up. Everyone. <laughs> okay. Now I need everyone to put both arms up straight in the air. I see pit stains. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone sit down. Get the loosey gooseys out. Just Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone stick one hand up. Now I'm gonna say different genres of music and keep it up if you like to listen to that music and if not, keep it down. If you hear one that you do like, put it back up. Okay, pop. Rap. <laughs> Rock. Jazz. Soul. And traditional. Classic. Okay. <coughs> I see that there's only, what, two people in here that listen to classical music? That's bad. <laughs> okay? That's very bad. Because, yes, classical music is the foundation for everyday life. You see, modern music today is listened to by everyone because it's modern and hip. And you see, from classical music, it's like the tree, it's like the roots. Like, as you go up through time, you see as, like, after classical, which stopped around the 1900s, you see jazz, and then you see soul, and you start getting into rock, and then rap, and then pop, which is today's music. And so you can tell that traditional is the roots. And everything that was done back in the 1600s and earlier before that has all kinds of instruments like these. It's a trombone. But this wasn't utilized <laughs> until the 1800s because people didn't know how to use it. OK. Now. What any kind of music does, it sends endorphins, like your body makes endorphins and sends it to the brain, which makes you happy. So like when you hear a pop tune, you're just like <laughs> dancing around. <laughs> then when you listen to classical, it can help you sleep, it can help you study, and it makes you smarter. You know why? Because no one listens to it. <laughs> and okay. Okay. And then, okay. Well, <laughs> all right, so you can play the video, and then that's me at our concert on Thursday. And then that was filmed by him. So if we can go ahead and play it, I'll just talk a little bit during it. Make sure the volume's up. This is more so symphonique. This was made by a composer back in the 1700s. And this is one of the first pieces that utilizes trombone.
Uh uh, there's more. Yeah, it's almost done. So, raise your hand of who enjoyed that. Okay. And the reason I showed you guys this is because, like, this was actually a big part of my night when I was there because I got to be featured on stage, you know, like, when there's about 600 kids in the band and I get to do a solo on stage. That's really cool. And the reason I got to do that is because with traditional music and listening to it all the time, it's helped me develop a lot, like, become more of a leader like I got recently put into a leadership position for marching band that's coming up this summer and I really feel that traditional music has helped me a lot because I really started listening to it for my genius hour which I started doing my pop arrangement and I just finished arranging it which took about four months or so but I remember it got deleted like two months ago so I had to redo the whole thing so now all I have to do is just record and then uh, get a microphone so I can get the audio for it and then it should be up on my channel principal trombone in about a month so if you guys want to check that out it would be pretty cool and I know a lot of you probably weren't amused during that and like that's the problem with traditional music it's not modern so people aren't going to enjoy it but if you just keep listening through it even if you like just if you're doing homework or something just turn something on like that like if you have any questions, I could recommend a bunch of symphonies or composers that do a really good job with that. And what I was going to do, I don't know if I have enough time, I was going to play a little excerpt and then I was going to talk to you about that, but I don't think I have enough time. Unless you guys want to hear it real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I turn, it's fine. I turned that off. Oh, okay. Okay, this is from Rochu, which he composed this about 120 years ago, and then this is for trombone, and this is one of the first things utilized for trombone also, and every professional plays stuff like this. So this is part of my warm-up routine. I play one of these etudes, and I'll play the first one because I'm really cold right now, so... Oh, <laughs> 
enjoyed that. Hey, come on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my last thing would be just go home and listen to anything you can look up. Just type in classical music or symphony and you will find something. And I'm sure you won't enjoy it at first, but as you get into it, you realize, like, you know, I'm becoming a lot less stress-free during this finals week. And then you can enjoy yourself in the night. <laughs>